about time. Time's going to happen whether you like it or not. You and I, we get the same 1,440 minutes in a day. We can't control time. Time's a great equalizer and time is not prejudiced. And I don't believe in time management. I think time management's out the window. And in the world, we don't have a time management crisis. We have an attention crisis. Mm. You can't manage time, but you can manage your attention. We get a choice about what we want to gift our attention to. And I think we have developed this attention deficit society. And I'm not talking ADD. That's something very different that's medically diagnosed. I'm talking about an attention deficit society where people are wandering around, to your point, they're overwhelmed, they're overstressed. We are attached to our devices. I named this overwhelmed, overstressed, overtired as the over trilogy. And we did all this research around, just take a stab. How many times do you think we touch our cell phone in a day? Just like take a guess. How many times? 2,617 times a day. Imagine touching anything or anyone that many times a day. What's happened in moving the conversation forward is we've made technology more important than people. And so what's happening is we're creating these behaviors and habits where if the person's not engaging us, we look to our device. Or when as leaders, when people come into our office, we don't look up from our computer, we keep finishing that email. And I think devices have a place and I'm not anti cell phones and I love the way they help us stay connected in the world. However, I think what is really important as leaders to think about is how do you truly want to get people focused on the results, whether it's productivity, profitability, and holding that team accountable. We constantly respond to busy. And I think we live in a society where we try and out busy each other. Like it's fascinating to me, especially in the US, where we wear busy like a badge of honor. Like you go to a party or you go to a meeting and someone says, Well, how are you? And you're like, Oh, I'm busy. And then someone goes, Oh my God, you think you're busy? I'm so busy. And we're like wearing this like it's something we're proud of. And what I want people to think about is we can have a hundred percent choice about who gets our attention and where we're spending our time and our energy. And so I think what's happening is we're just doing things. We're crossing things off lists and the wrong things are making it to our list. We're going through our email, but we're not diligently being strategic about what really requires our attention. Think of it as like concentric circles in the middle circle. You have those most intimate relationships. So obviously our attention is going to be to our intimate circle first. Then it's going to be maybe the immediate circle. These are people like your family, your extended close relationships. And these are the people that we wear in our heart that us that have that place in our heart that is super important. But then when you think about that, it then goes out beyond that. And we look at the colleagues that we work with, our team members that we serve, our leadership that we serve, our clients we serve, and then ultimately wider than that is our community. Many of us have board positions, volunteers in our church community temple. So if you think of it as concentric circles, and so when you consider what priorities you have on your plate, the people that you care the most deeply about are often the reason you work as hard as you do. The reason people work so hard and get stressed and get tired is they're trying to create a lifestyle for people they love. It's not selfish to take self care. And so you may need to start with yourself and think about, okay, today, what do I need to do? Who do I need to invest in, in order for me to advance my goals, my objectives, my relationships? Are you going to feel bad? Yeah. Are you going to disappoint people? Absolutely. Are you going to feel a little bad about those things? Definitely. And we have to, as leaders come to terms with the fact that we can't be everything to everyone. We can't be at every meeting. We can't be at every uh, board meeting or association event or conference we want to attend. We have to make very deliberate choices. And I really believe that our attention is a choice. Attention is all about connection. We get to choose who we want to connect with and how that's going to connect us to the bigger objectives we have. What you want to think about is one of the things that will actually advance what it is you're working on. So for me, I'm going to call that productivity. One of the things I encourage people to think about is think about time in a different way. Could you just look at time in 15 minute increments? I think 15 minutes is the key to productivity. And if you can have 15 dedicated minutes, it's amazing what you can achieve. And so what I encourage all my leaders to do, let's just start with a 15 minute strategic appointment with yourself every single day, have mm. one strategic appointment at the beginning of the day, 
And here's what I encourage all my leaders to do. They have this 15 minute strategic appointment and what they do is they identify their top three not negotiable activities. So before your head hits the pillow tonight, what's your three? Today I will, and then I write my three things. Because that little tiny post-it note becomes your decision filtering system. The first thing I would suggest is eliminate distractions. In according to the information overload group, it costs US businesses $588 billion every year because of constant interruptions. So think about how do we eliminate distractions? And just as a leader, one of the biggest distractions is you. You as the leader are often the problem, right? Because you're constantly saying to your team, hey, you have a second, you have a minute, you have a second, you have a minute. It's never a second, it's never a minute. And then you might say to someone, hey, can you, what would, what do you think about this? Now that person then takes that and says, oh my God, my boss wants me to go find out about this. And so they go on this path. As a leader, you call meetings unnecessarily. You've always had an 8.30 Monday morning meeting, so you still have the 8.30 Monday morning meeting. And I'm suggesting maybe what you want to consider is Every time you ask someone to spend their minutes with you, they never get them back. So as a leader, can you eliminate some of the distractions, including how you are a distraction to your team as well? If you enjoy this podcast, please make sure to subscribe. And to stay updated on everything that the Action Catalyst is up to, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Action Catalyst Podcast and on Twitter at Catalyst underscore action. And thanks for listening.